Thanks for coming in today. Good morning, Dr. Good Jessica. morning. Yes, hi. So tell me a little bit about uh, what bothers you and what you want to work on today. You know what I was noticing lately? I look tired. Okay. Um, and I'm thinking it's my under eye. So I want something, maybe, I don't know, would you recommend something that would make me look less tired? Maybe a little bit more hydration under my eye? The bags under the eyes are basically a puffiness and a dark circle or hollowness that is, tends to be in the lower eyelid. Uh, generally, you start to notice it in the 30s and 40s, but usually it starts to get a lot worse in your 50s and 60s. If you look in the mirror, mm -hmm. basically, what you have is something called a tear trough, which is this groove that forms as uh, we lose elasticity in the cheeks and in the eyelid. So as we lose collagen and elasticity, the cheek fat and the eyelid fat separate, which creates this groove. This groove creates darkness and also creates that tired look. There are several causes for bags under the eyes. Uh, the most common cause is genetics. Uh, people who tend to have uh, family members who have dark circles or bags under the eyes, father, mother, aunts, uncles, grandparents, they will tend to see bags under the eyes at a younger age than someone else. Uh, other causes for bags under the eyes are smoking because it destroys the elasticity in the lower eyelid, uh, dehydration or not drinking enough water, lack of sleep is also another common cause. A lot of people work really hard, they stay up late, uh, they're dehydrated, they don't get enough sleep, they're eight hours of sleep, so lack of sleep is probably uh, one of the causes as well. So in order to help improve that, we actually put in a hyaluronic gel filler to actually fill in the gap so that it gives the illusion that the cheek fat and the eyelid fat are together. The most uh, common non-surgical treatment is uh, fillers under the eyes. We generally use the Restylane family of injectables and we'll use regular Restylane or also Restylane Refine, which is a newer uh, product on the market. And these are hyaluronic acid fillers that we use to inject directly below the fat pads or puffiness and also directly into the darkest part of the tear trough. Not only will this treatment help it look better, but it'll also help prevent it from looking worse as we go in the future. So today, what I'd like to do is do a treatment of a hyaluronic gel filler, and uh, we'll do about a half of a syringe on each side, okay. and you should be able to see some improvement right away. Okay, I'm excited then. Okay. kind of ice your lower eyelid on the left side here. Okay. We're going to start on the left side. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to feel is a little pinch. So we're using a cannula process, which is a blunt tip needle. And the blunt tip actually helps prevent uh, bruising. Uh, so it doesn't poke little small veins. And you should be able to notice some improvement right away. You can actually see the hollowness decreasing here and you can see the hollowness decreasing because you can start to see the areas of hollowness that we haven't filled yet on this. We're going to also go into our little hollow area right in here. Uh, there's lots of filler options for under eye uh, treatments. Uh, we have a lot more choices now than we did even a few years ago. The main reason why our practice chooses uh, the Restylane family for the under eye treatments is because we've noticed that there is the least amount of delayed uh, water attraction or swelling. In other words, some of the other products, uh, particularly in this area, can look good for the first month or two, but can sometimes attract too much water down the road. So there's some visible immediate improvement, but with all hyaluronic gel fillers, they attract water and they actually fill and lift a little more within two to three days as they kind of hydrate themselves and attract more water molecules. So this will look smoother and better even in a few days. Fillers are also very malleable too, so you can kind of mold them into the area that you want. These fillers generally last about nine to 12 months, uh, so they do need to be repeated about once a year, uh, but they are generally a 15, 20 minute procedure and they're um, easy to tolerate. 
I'm applying a, a soothing gel. This is called the Arnica gel that helps minimize bruising and swelling. Those are the two most common uh, uh, effects after this treatment. So you may notice a little bit of swelling under the eyes. You may notice a little bruising under the eyes. Uh, so in addition to applying this soothing gel, you can also apply ice a few times today uh, to help minimize it. And then also a few times tomorrow will help as well. What do you think? Take a look. I like it. You like it? Yes. <laughs>